Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today's video is all about tooth extraction and its armamentarium and technique of usage. In this video you will learn about extraction of teeth and the instruments used. Before we go any further. Subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more content and videos about dentistry and oral medicine. Extraction instruments are divided into forceps and elevators. This video will be about extraction forceps and the next one will be about elevators. Let's start with the basic components of extraction forceps, beaks or blades, joint or hinge, and handle. Upper anterior forceps. It should be straight with wide blades. It's used for extraction of upper centrals, laterals and canines both right and left with the same forceps. Upper premolar forceps. It has two bends. The two blades are mirror image to each other. The two blades have no projections. It's used for extraction of both right and left upper premolars with the same forceps. Upper molars forceps. It also has two bends. The palatal blade is round and the buccal blade has a projection or arrowhead to fit the roots vocation on the buccal side of the molar. There are two forceps one for the right upper molars and one for the left upper molars. Upper third molar forceps are jockey forceps. For extraction of upper third molar, right and left with the same forceps. There is a space between the blades. Bayonet forceps, upper posterior remaining root forceps. It's used for the extraction of the upper posterior retained roots. The blades are parallel to the long axis of the handle. There is no space between the blades. The upper anterior remaining root forceps is identical to the upper anterior forceps but with smaller beaks. These were the forceps used for upper teeth extraction. Lower anterior forceps. They have fine blades. The blades are perpendicular on the long axis of the handle. No space between the blades. Used for extraction of the lower central and lateral incisors both right and left teeth with the same forceps. And for the lower canines, a larger sized lower anterior forceps could be used or with the same size. Lower premolar forceps. It looks very similar to the lower anterior forceps but with space between the beaks. The blade's ends are rounded and has no projection. Used to extract the lower premolars, both right and left teeth with the same forceps. Lower molar forceps. There is a space between the blades. Both of the blades the buccal and the lingual ends have a projection unlike the upper molars forceps that have one projection on the buccal beak only. And this is because the lower molars have two roots and the furcation area would be on both sides while the upper molars usually have three roots. The same forceps is used to extract both right and left lower molars. This is the cow horn forceps. They are used when the teeth to be extracted are badly decayed. And this is the proper forceps handling prior to its application on the tooth. Note the position of the small finger which is used to open and close the forceps handles. The proper forceps handling during tooth extraction. Note the removal of the small finger from inside the forceps handles during action. Retraction and support in lower left region. By the ring and index fingers and the thumb is supporting the chin from below. Retraction and support in lower anterior region. By the ring and index fingers and the thumb is supporting the chin from below. The same as the previous. Retraction and support in lower right region. By the thumb and index fingers and the three other fingers are supporting the chin from below. Retraction and support in upper left region. By the thumb and index fingers and the three other fingers as shown to avoid injuring the patient's eyes. Retraction and support in upper anterior region. By the thumb and index fingers the same as the previous. Retraction and support in upper right region. By the thumb and index fingers. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next video.